Did You Know? Brought to you by Kia, the power to surprise. Torture testing an engine on a dynamometer, a machine that replicates the work it would do in a car, is something all manufacturers do to prove a new engine. In Kia's case, all engines undergo this endurance test. Once we've got our concept of the engine um, developed, we need to make sure that it also is going to be a very durable product. And so we run validation tests. And we have a specific schedule that I think is uh, definitely probably the toughest in the industry. And what we do is we literally take the engine and run it on a, a dynamometer stand at full load, wide open throttle. So it's a maximum engine speed that the engine can operate on at the maximum load. So we're stressing the components as much as possible and we run it virtually nonstop for 300 hours um, other than just to make oil changes. It's neat to watch because the exhaust manifolds turn cherry red and it just runs and runs until it meets that 300 hour spec. Once we have that attained, then we have an overrun spec where we'll go ahead and run the engine, um, depending on the application, either 10 or 20 percent over spec for another 10 hours to 20 hours, just to show that even when it's past its red line limit, it can still survive to make sure that these products stay durable in the customer's hands. What was remarkable about that engine, and I've seen more than my fair share as a mechanic over the years, was the fact that there was very, very little internal wear. In fact, it could quite easily have come out of a vehicle that was in service and been stripped down and not come out of a torture chamber where it had been run for 300 hours at wide open throttle. 